good morning and welcome to Shelf Indulgence Book Chats. I have with me today Stephanie Williams. Stephanie is a home, she homeschooled her three daughters for 18 years. She has a published book. Ew, you homeschool? <laughs> I love that title. She wrote it to encourage other homeschool moms. Stephanie currently teaches literature and composition at a hybrid school. Fellow hybrid homeschooler. I love it. In her spare time, she loves to read and write, spend time on the lake, and cook great food. You are a woman after my own heart. She has been married to her dear husband, David, for 34 years, and they have three daughters, two sons-in-law, and two grandchildren. Together with them is their favorite place to be. Welcome, Stephanie. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Kimberly. It's wonderful to be here. Thank you. Oh, I'm so excited. So, so much of your book I related to, but from, from the serious to the silly, it just touched on every facet that we face, that, that, that trepidation when someone, whether or not you're going to tell someone that you homeschool or if they ask, you know, where are your kids out in the middle of the day? You know, just <laughs> because you needed to pick up broccoli at the grocery store. Um, a little bit less of it here in the DFW area, but I'm certainly, it was a question you faced quite a bit early on. It certainly was. You know, I started back in uh, what? Uh, oh, I don't even remember now. The early two thousands. <laughs> it's been so long, but the yeah. early two thousands. I think two thousand three, actually. And yes, I I had so much backlash. You know, yes, I really did. And it and I speak of it in my book. But you know, my family. I came from a public school background. Public school teachers. Public public school teacher friends. I was a public mm-hmm. school teacher. So everybody thought we were crazy. And, and truthfully, I wondered at the beginning, what am I doing? But, oh, great. I'm so thankful that we did it. I'm so thankful. Yes. If you can get past that fear, there's, we're never going back. Exactly. We're never going back. We're never going back. And, you know, we took it year by year. So, so for, Mm -hmm. for a couple of years, we would say, okay, we're going to just do this for a year and we're going to see what happens. And we stopped saying that, you know, after about three or four years, we stopped saying that Mm -hmm. we were, we were, we were on board and we were going to just see it through. And, you know, I, I want to, I always want to tell people, stand firm in what you believe and if you mm-hmm. feel called, because it is a calling, homeschool is a calling. If you feel called to yeah. homeschool, stand firm and know you're doing what's best for your children. I mean, think about it. What's better than a mom pouring into her children, her child? Yes. There is no greater calling and no greater purpose. I think of it almost as a form of apologetics in a way. If you think about it, it's very true. It's very true. You know, one of my greatest accomplishments I feel in homeschooling, and I wish I would have done it with my older two, um, there's 12 years difference between my oldest and my youngest. So we had our first two children just three years apart. And then our Mary Ruth came along 12 years later. And, and when I homeschooled her, We read through the Bible. We started, we would choose a a book of the Bible and we would read. And and eventually after, I think it was about four years, it took us about four years to know that we had accomplished that and that that she had that in her heart. And looking Mm -hmm. back, that was my greatest accomplishment, pouring that into her. Mm Mm-hmm much more than the academics and everything else. And she still will still once in a while, she'll say, remember when we read through the Bible? And it's just so heartwarming to hear her say that. (laughs) That is the greatest accomplishment, I think. And and that is something that I can relate to. And I I feel as strongly about as well. If I don't teach him, the rest of it, you'll get to. You're going to circle through history tons of times in your life. Same with science. But, and, and yes, we do the basics. We get it all done. But the most important thing that I teach him, you, you can look, I mean, they walk around with computers on your hands. You can look up anything these days. So the exactly most important right. thing you teach them is how to view the world and how to defend their faith. Exactly. And that's their foundation. That is the biggest foundation of everything that I teach him. So what is Good it I for read? you? Um, most recently, two thirds of um, Christian adolescents leave the faith when they start college, two thirds, 
two-thirds. That's the latest statistics. It is so alarming. It really is. And and I think that it's so important as Christian parents that we we truly live what we believe and we live it out in front of them. And, you know, they see our flaws. That's something, and I I say this in the book, you know, my kids know me, you know, they know the good, they know the bad, Mm -hmm. you know, that, but they know me Mm -hmm. and they know that they know that at the end of the day, we want to live for for Jesus and we want to do the best. We want to do that the the best way we can, we, we can through what his word tells us. And, and, and that even when we fail, we get back up and we keep going and we keep trying. And I think that's part of the problem with these young people. They, they fail. We all fail. They're going to fail and they're going out into a hard world, but, but some of them aren't getting back up. They're, they're, they're giving up. And so I think for us to be able to share with our kids, get back up, do the hard work, it goes a long way. And I know with now I have three adult children and I see the struggles. They've all, you know, they've all gone through struggles. We all go through struggles, but they've gotten back up and they've never turned their backs. They know, they know, they know, they know to whom you know, they believe and what they believe. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's, it's wonderful to see. It's wonderful to see them live that out. Yes. A phrase that I use for that in our homeschool is, I want you to know whose you are, and it's far more it. important than who you are. I love it. So bigger than that. I yes, love that. Just, struggle is not suffering. Struggle doesn't, struggling doesn't have to be suffering. Suffering's optional. But struggle builds character, and that's what we want for our kids more than anything. We do. Anything. We do. 